Hey guys, Evil here for Vanquish Products. Today I'm here to tell you about the Curry F9 axle housing for your AR60 based scaler. We all know the popularity of the Axial Wraith and RR10 bomber platform in the scaler and scale rock racer community. The AR60 axle that comes in these kits has become a mainstay as a building block for completely custom scale builds. The prevalence of this platform has sent many hardcore builders in search of more durability and more scale realism that will fit the AR60 form factor. This is where VP comes in. Our series of billet aluminum axle housings has long been the benchmark for top quality aftermarket parts. The use of only the highest quality materials and precision machining bring you a level of quality unmatched in the industry. This latest generation of axle housing is accurately modeled after the popular Curry F9 axle that has become so popular in the full-size world of off-road motorsports. The scale version of the F9 features many visual cues taken directly from the 1-to-1 version, such as a machining technique that simulates welds, as well as the official Curry logo proudly displayed on the front of the pumpkin. The biggest change to the F9, however, is the inclusion of the removable third member, giving you easy access to the ring and pinion, as well as giving the housing that extra kick in the scale realism department. The F9 isn't all looks, though. It carries over some features from the ultra-tough AR60 V2 housing, such as the oversized pinion bearing and the V2 bearing retaining system designed to keep your locker right where it belongs in the housing, eliminating any flex that may have been present in earlier designs. The F9 is also a modular axle system that allows it to be the basis for about any scale build you could ever need with optional length axle tubes, giving you additional flexibility. So whatever your scale building needs, whether it be bulletproofing that RR10 bomber for U4 racing on the weekends, or putting the finishing touches on that concourse winning scaler project, the Curry F9 is the perfect axle to finish off that 2.2 rig. Assembling the F9 is pretty straightforward, and we've prepared this video if you'd like to build along. We'll start with the front axle. Included in the kit are the axle pumpkin, third member, oversized pinion bearing and bearing retainers, truss and axle tubes, and lower suspension mounts. I like to start out by installing the included bearing in the third member, along with the transplanted stock output bearing from your old axle. Next, we can install your pinion gear and install the bearing retainers on your existing spool. Once those are in place, you can bolt the ring gear assembly into the third member. Once that is done, you can join the completed third member to the pumpkin. Note the orientation during install. Secured in place using the M2 by 6mm socket head hardware. Once that is complete, you can install the 164 by 0.25 cosmetic screws. Now we can move on to the axle tubes. Secure the axle tubes in place as shown using M3 by 6mm set screws. We'll need to loosen these later to line up the tubes with the axle truss, so just lightly tighten them for now. Next I'm going to use the M3x4mm and M3x6mm set screws to seal the unused mounting holes in the axle. Don't forget to use some blue thread lock here and on all metal to metal connections. Once that is done, it's time to install the truss. Loosen the set screws securing the axle tubes and adjust the tube so all the holes on top of the truss line up. Then attach the M3 by 8 mm center truss bolt, followed by the M3 by 6 mm on the short tube, and the M3 by 20 and the M3 by 14 on the long tube, respectively. Once those are in place, we can retighten the set screws. Now we can move on to the lower suspension mounts. Mount these to the axle using the M3 by 8 mm socket head hardware. And we can finish up assembly by installing the M3 by 20 mm grub screws in the sway bar mounts on the axle truss. 
Once those are in place, you can transplant your C-hubs and knuckles from your existing axle, and that will complete the front axle assembly. Moving on to the rear, it will largely build just like the front with a few minor differences. Complete the pumpkin and third member assembly just like the front. Again, note the orientation of the ring gear so your axle spins in the right direction under power. Once you're ready to install the axle tubes, that is where the rear axle assembly differs slightly. Install the 5x11x4 axle bearings and secure them in place with the included snap rings. Next, install the axle shafts and secure them in place with the cross pins and hexes. Insert the axle tubes into the pumpkin and secure into place with the M3 by 6 mm set screws as we did on the front. Now we can go ahead and use the set screws to seal up the unused holes in the tubes and pumpkin. Once that is complete, we're ready to install the truss. Loosen the set screws on the tubes and line them up with the truss mounting holes. Use the M3 by 8 mm socket head screw to secure the center of the truss, followed by the M3 by 6 mm on the short tube and the M3 by 14 and M3 by 20 on the long tube. Once those are installed, you can retighten the set screws on the tubes. Next up, install the lower suspension mounts with the included M3 by 8 mm hardware. This completes the rear axle assembly. We're now ready to install them on your model. Once you've got them installed on your rig, you're ready to hit the trail. I'd like to thank you for watching today, and we'll catch you on the next one.